Don't check this, please. Master CBs. Set. Cockpit. Concord's flight deck is crammed with the latest microchip technology. Complete. Oxygen. More than a hundred items need to be checked and cross-checked before the engines can be started. On. And anti-stall systems. On. Engine starting. Engines four and one starting. Carol Berman finally sets off to organize opposition to Concorde's landing. Blinek, Tower, Concorde Sierra Bravo, taxi. Roger, Sierra Bravo. Pfizer down, nurse to five. Three, two, one, now. Rolls-Royce engines have the same power as 6,000 family cars. In the first thousand feet of the climb alone, a ton of fuel is used. Five minutes after takeoff, Concorde leaves to lose airspace. At 28,000 feet, the crew are ready to show why the claims that Concorde is the future of air travel should be taken seriously. Subsonic airliners reach their maximum speed at Mach.80, far short of the sound barrier. But Concorde is still warming up at these subsonic speeds. It's the world's only supersonic airliner. To create enough power to punch through the sound barrier, afterburners known as reheats are required. Although these use up more fuel, they increase the thrust by 25%. Taking on the leadership of the anti concord campaign, Carol Berman has found a suitable outlet to channel her political energies. SSTs are not for me. Make love, not noise. Uh, man. She and her fellow protesters have come up with a novel way of turning their cars into weapons of mass civil protest. SSTs are not for me. Carol's placard has been left over from an organized protest she took part in at JFK three days before. A convoy of over 500 cars crawled around the approach roads at five miles an hour. This was the latest in a series of drive slows that has brought traffic using JFK to a virtual standstill. But these drive slows 
have done nothing to block the plans being made for Concord's arrival. Concord crosses into American airspace over the mid-Atlantic. The air at 58,000 feet is crystal clear. Concord's cruise altitude is four miles higher than that of any other airliner. From this vantage point over twice the height of Mount Everest, the crew has a clear view of the Earth's curve on the horizon 300 miles away. going over slogans, make love, not noise. No, it doesn't sound right to me. SSTs are not for me. As the leading voice against Concord, Carol knows that every news channel in America will be lining up to interview her later this morning. What do you think? I think that's good. Oh, wait a minute. Shh, this is it. This is it. Okay. Okay, we better make a move. The plight of Carol and her neighbors has become the focus of world press attention. With this. And that's one of the quieter ones. That's 747. So, I mean, if we stand there long enough, you're going to see a lot more of this and you're going to hear a lot more noise. Now, if that was the SST, forget about it. Our eardrums would pop. To assess whether Concorde really will be as loud as its critics claim, JFK ground staff set up noise monitors around the perimeter fence. The engines are pulled back as flight Sierra Bravo approaches New York for the first time in its career. The visor and nose are lowered to improve the pilot's visibility on the approach. It's half an hour before Concorde is due to touch down at JFK. In the corridor outside Hangar 17, security for the upcoming press conference is unprecedented. With hundreds of extra police drafted in for the day, Carol Berman can't get any closer than the perimeter fence. Dozens of helicopters have been hired by journalists to give them a bird's eye view of Concorde's landing. With Concorde just minutes away, the noise monitors are activated. If Sierra Bravo's decibel count registers too high, it may be banned from all commercial operations to JFK. the rotation of the Earth, Concorde has in effect arrived more than two hours before it took off from Toulouse. What did you think of the Concorde landing? It was like a, like a vulture, you know, pouring down black acrid smoke on our communities, uh, yeah, polluting the atmosphere. It was, it was 